Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some really interesting things to go over for the next Pokemon Home update. Riddleku has been leaking some information about a move tailor, which is apparently going to be a new feature in the next Pokemon Home update. So we're going to be breaking all of that down today. If you're excited for the video though, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. It's trying to hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, originally Riddler Koo posted this on Twitter about distribution moves. So he said, do distribution moves still matter in the series now? Want to hear your takes? And then basically people were replying and stuff about it. And then he said, so old money lost, sad, the future belongs to new fans. And then he said, good news to say, they would do something special for the move situation. So obviously the move situation, uh, from what we know, from what Century Leaks posted, uh, from their source, is that basically if you transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Home into Pokemon Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and it has moves that are not available in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet then it's going to reset the whole uh, kind of four move pool that it has. Even if it has three moves that are legit and only one that isn't available in the game it will still reset all of them. It's not the worst thing in the world because you can easily relearn moves in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet but basically that is the move situation that he is talking about here. Um, which again it's not really the worst thing because like I say it's so easy to reteach uh, re moves. I guess it's just for those event Pokemon that, that have those like special event moves but the good thing is that if you transfer it back into Pokemon Home it will get its original moveset apparently that's that's kind of what the leakers have been saying and stuff so it's not the worst thing in the world um, so we had that and then Riddler Koo posted this so he said move Taylor with a kissy face and then he went on to say turns out the old money won in the end truth of the world and then he said 10 out of 10 for 3.00 and then he put two love hearts which is a green and a blue love heart and then he wrote this text as well so there's a lot to kind of break down here so move tailor obviously is this new feature that is going to be added in pokemon home in the next update um he then goes on to say 10 out of 10 for 3.0.0 so originally i thought that 10 out of 10 for 3.0.0 would be the next pokemon home update because i think we're on update like two point something i don't think we're on update three yet and usually it goes up a whole number when it's a massive update and this is a massive update so i'm guessing here he's saying that 10 out of 10 for 3.0.0 so that's obviously 10 out of 10 for the next pokemon home update basically saying that the move tailor is like 10 out of 10 and then i don't know why i put these love hearts because this is clearly for the teal mask in the uh the indigo disc like teal mask ogre pond green the indigo disc blue terrapagos like they're just the colors for it um so we had central leaks here then say this so he posted, I've re-recorded this video like three times just because of the new information that keeps coming out and like the misinformation that's been spreading around. I've been I've been speaking about the same thing so much. Oh my god. But either way, we had Central Leaks then post saying that uh, Leaker K has talked about the move Taylor, which seems to be a feature of the DLC that will allow somehow to customize Pokemon moves. Uh, for example, teach again old event moves through Pokemon customized uh, with this, uh, they, they, they won't be eligible for ranked battles. So basically what we originally, well, what Centro Leaks originally said was that there was going to be this new feature called the Move Tailor and they interpreted it that it was going to be in the DLC and that basically it was going to be like a, a new feature where you could customize these Pokemon with these um, event moves and stuff, but they would not be available for ranked battles. So uh, this was very much the PK Hex feature that we was all expecting. So basically Riddler Koo posted a while ago um, that there was going to be this new PK Hex feature that uh, if you don't know what PK Hex is, basically it's like third party software and you can create a Pokemon out of nothing really. It takes like a couple of minutes, not even that, it takes like a minute, 30 seconds. And you can create this Pokemon with the perfect stats, perfect IVs, perfect EVs, uh, perfect nature, perfect ability, perfect move pool. And uh, it was all like seen as legit in like the Pokemon's kind of um i guess servers like it could easily get through the servers and stuff to just look like a legit pokemon um, and so that was the, that's pk hex and so this pk hex like feature that riddler ku spoke about um we thought that it was going to be a way to be able to create pokemon out of nothing or recustomize pokemon and uh that would give them that the moves that you wanted and the IVs that you wanted and the EVs that you wanted but they wouldn't be allowed on ranked battles which i can kind of understand but at the same time like it's so easy to make competitive pokemon in this game why would they not allow you to use them in ranked battles? He then went on to say, as usual, from this leaker, uh, information is vague and may be misinterpreted. We will learn more as time goes on. He does also hint it will be for version 3.0.0, and then he said, so Indigo Disc. 
Uh, and then also we have uh, Rudy here saying, sounds like an in-game PK Hex type thing that was being hinted at earlier by leakers. Yes, that could potentially be it. Um, so yeah, Central Leaks here kind of like basically telling everyone that there was going to be like a new DLC feature um, and that it was uh, going to be for the Indigo disc and stuff. And uh, it turns out that's not true. <laughs> Riddler Koo then reposted saying, nah, he's wrong. That's, that's completely wrong. Um, but of course, this Chinese, like this, this, I think it might be Chinese, but this uh, text here, uh, Pokey Serena actually translated it and said, I think it reads, uh, Kono Tabi Home, uh, Wakabi Update. This travel home update is a god update. So basically, he was saying here that um, uh, in this text here, that this Pokemon home update is godlike. So it's like a godlike Pokemon update. It's going to be really, really good. And then he's replied a few hours later. Um, saying, well, Move Taylor is actually bad, re-rated for 3.0.0, 6 out of 10. And then he went on to say Puppy, which obviously he calls Centro Leaks, long story. I don't even know if I know what's going on with that. Uh, but yeah, he basically said Centro Leaks thought that 3.0.0 was DLC, how stupid can it be? Um, so this isn't true. So, uh, you know, Centro Leaks should probably delete this tweet or something. This isn't real, like this isn't right. Um, this 3.0.0 is going to be for, it's got to be the Pokemon Home update, really. Like that's all we can really, I guess, muster from it. Um, you know, he, he said, wait, what, why? Uh, this is Riddler Koo's reason as to why this move tailor isn't actually good. So originally he thought this move tailor was like 10 out of 10. It was like a really, really good idea, like a really good idea, a really good update. And then he's reread it and apparently now it's not as good and he's re-rated it as a 6 out of 10. And this is basically why. Uh, so we have Missing No here saying, you know, wait, what, why? Uh, red news of 3.0.0, a misunderstood some wording. So obviously he's been given some news about it. He's read it and then he's interpreted it in a way um, that he thought was really, really good, but then he's reread it now and been like, oh wait, actually that's not that good. Um, so this clearly doesn't help in preserving event exclusive moves as we'd hoped. What does it do then? Uh, move related stuff was a thing in 3.0.0. Recommend you wait for detailed official announcement. And then someone said, you know, do you know when this could be or when we could expect it? And then he just didn't reply. So again, he's not replying when this Pokemon Home update is going to drop. Again, it's very likely going to be very, very soon. I'm recording this before any kind of Pokemon Home update, by the way. I'm recording this on the Friday. I don't know if Pokemon Home is going to be announced for Friday or whatever. But obviously, this is still some extra information about it um, that I think is uh, relatively decent to know so i'm guessing the 3.0.0 is for pokemon home um it's not for the dlc so the only other explanation is that it is for you know uh pokemon home so we had that so yeah like i say it, it you know take this wrong like this isn't right you know that the pk hex like feature it's still a thing you know riddler coup is still posted about that that's just not this thing. The Move Taylor thing is not the PKX Life feature. The Move Taylor is not in the DLC. It is in Pokemon Home, according to Riddler Koo. So this is, like, say, false. Like, they should probably delete this tweet. Um, we then have Soul Silver also talking about this, saying, well, never mind uh, about Koo's original rating. Either way, I've got to be honest, Home to me is just a place to store and, mo uh, 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 and move Pokemon. Uh, nothing about it really gets me excited, other than when we get some game-related information from Home being data mined. Because you also got to imagine, like, when this Pokemon Home update drops, you're going to get a ton of data mined information. And uh, it's going to be really exciting. Can't wait. Uh, if they wanted to add new features to it, there are some great ideas out there. Mostly have to do with interacting with your boxed Pokemon, uh, like Ranch, Pokemon Ame, uh, Battle Simulator, Hyper Training, mini games. But I'm not confident those ideas will ever happen. So that's basically the latest information. So according to Riddler Koo, there is going to be something known as the Move Tailor. And this is going to be a uh, feature of the new Pokemon Home update. It's nothing to do with the DLC, and uh, we could expect to see it, obviously, in the next Pokemon Home update. Originally, it was a 10 out of 10, but now it's a 6 out of 10. The only thing I don't understand is why he did these two love hearts. Like, I don't know why he did a green and a... Like, this... I understand why um, people thought it was about the DLC, because, obviously, he's posted these two colors here, which, obviously, are the DLC colors. So, he probably shouldn't have put that. That's why it kind of, I guess, made everyone a little bit... You know, we didn't really understand what it was going on about. But it's now good that he's kind of made the clarification that, it, you know, it's not about the DLC. It is about the Pokemon Home. So, uh, yeah, no PKX Lite feature for the Move Taylor. The, the PKX Lite feature is still going to be in the future in the DLC at some point, unless Riddler Koo comes out and says, like, it's not happening anymore. But uh, Move Taylor is for Pokemon Home. This potentially could be, like, an extra paid subscription. I'm not too sure. Maybe that's why he thinks it's a 6 out of 10. Maybe originally he thought it was free. And now it's like an extra subscription. Because what could potentially happen is obviously we have the basic plan for Pokemon Home. And then we have the premium plan. 
what we could have now is another premium plan, like even more expensive, and that gives us the move tailor, and that allows us to create Pokemon, but then we can't use them in ranked. So I'm guessing that potentially could be um, the situation. But uh, either way, look out for the move tailor. Hopefully we get some information about it soon. But uh, that is going to be everything for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please do consider hitting the like button down below. It's trying to 500 likes. Like I said, I recorded this video three times because there's just new information coming out all the time. I hope I don't have to record it again because <laughs> I'm getting sick of reading the same thing over and over again. But anyway, yeah, if you enjoyed, drop a like. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the move, Taylor. What do you think it could potentially be? Uh, do you think it is just going to be a thing where they teach Pokemon moves, etc., and then that's it? Or or what do you think it would be a premium plan? Do you, would you pay for another premium plan? Let me know your thoughts on the whole situation. Subscribe if you're brand new, though. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.